Hey, what's up everybody? This is Minister Donnie Briggs and just want to talk to you quickly from the book of John 10th chapter to 10th verse. In it, Jesus says, but the thief comes to steal, kill and destroy. But I come that you might have life and that more abundantly. And it's very important that we understand what it is that Jesus is talking about because sometimes the enemy may not have the access to physically kill us, but he tries to spiritually defeat us, spiritually kill us, and to destroy us. Um, what does that look like, you may ask? Well, sometimes we go through bouts of depression, or we feel discouraged, or we may feel less productive. That's the enemy coming in. Sometimes he'll try to destroy your dreams, your hopes, your aspirations, even your inspirations. And he knows that if he can kill those things, if he can steal your dreams from you, then he can destroy you from being uh, influential and having great impact for the kingdom of God. And if he can just stop you from doing that, then maybe he can take what he has done or the work he's trying to do within you and cause you to translate that to someone else. But Jesus says, not so. He says, I come that you may have life and that more abundantly. So the enemy tries to steal and tries to kill, but in contrast, Jesus comes and he gives us life. Why does he do this? Because he loves you. He is love. And everything that he does in our life reflects his love for us. So while the enemy may hate you, while you may be dealing with people who hate you and want to destroy you and want to discourage you, I want to inspire you to hope and to think positive and to dream that Jesus Christ loves you. And he wants to give you a life that is so much more better, a life that is abundant, a life that is all about you impacting the kingdom of God and those around you. And again, why does he do this? Because he loves you. Know today that you are loved. Be inspired when you think about that someone loves you. I'll see you next time. God bless you.